Welcome back to Let's Play Canon Standard Edition. Last episode. Okay, let me just try to remember what happened last time. Um. Damn it, I can't remember. All I remember is we ran into Makoto. Okay, let's continue. Hey, Makoto, what are you doing? Where are you going, I mean? Tofu, you say? Can you manage by yourself? You sure look like one. Are you really? In that case... Oh, here we go. On the walkthrough that I used, which is on, I think, Game Packs, you can just go look at that one if you want a real good guide of this, but... It says, like, you've gotta click this one to get it, but I don't think it matters much, so I'm gonna go with the anime one. Because it's funny. Would you get me some porn while you're there? That's how you say porn in Japanese, apparently. You know what that is, right? It's like... I'd like some porno mags. <laughs> I can't believe this actually happened in the anime. I wouldn't call it interesting, more, um, exciting, stimulating. Oh, she doesn't know at all. Yeah, here, I'll even give you some money for it. I toss her a handful of change. Okay, go into a bookshop, bookstore, whatever, and ask for some porn. <laughs> Oh, like, they should have shown, like, the conversations we would have, like, with the shop owner. It would have been hilarious. They have a lot. Get them to recommend you something. If you're an adult... I wouldn't be able to keep a straight face tricking someone into buying porn without knowing it. See you back home, then. Patter patter! Makoto runs off gleefully. I watch her leave, then resume walking myself. By the time I reach the shopping center, the sun is already low in the sky. The sunset... Prison floats... vividly on the orange glare... Wake up, man! It won't be long until the streetlights too flicker on. Right, let's hunt for CDs! As I have nothing better to do, I wander off in search of the store I failed to find yesterday. The voice from behind is not entirely unexpected. Immediately, I leap to one side. Wham! With a sound effect that might have come straight from a comic strip, I crash it into the ground. Well, you could have given us the sound effect. I haven't got any Tom and Jerry sound effects on my laptop. She isn't moving. Are you okay? She jerks angrily. I just thought you might be about to leap at me again. Your nose is all red. You know what, Nayuki's face is the only one that's changed color throughout this, really. I mean, her face literally went red that one time. She glares at me, holding her nose with one gloved hand. Her eyes filled with huge tears. Looks like she went flat on her face again. Why don't you try doing judo, Ayu? You could learn how to take a fall. None of your damn business! So what did you want? <laughs> Nothing happened. Oh, oh my god! What on earth happened to you, are you? Those wounds! <laughs> so whatever I do is wrong. Still rubbing her red nose, she looks up at me, reproachfully. 
Seriously, though, what are you up to today? What? LPing? I'm just window shopping on my way home from school. Any luck in your search? Me neither. No, uh, this is random, but... Who the heck was the first person to make an LP? Who came up with it? I mean, they've been around for a few years now, but... Who was the one that first did these kind of LPs? Who started it, I mean... I don't know. Kind of weird. Makes you think there. I've only been watching LPs for about two years now, so I don't know who started it. For a CD shop, I don't suppose you know where one is. Uh, what? Really? Her school? Okay. I fear you may be right. She disappears into the twilight, waving her hand, her wings fluttering. This shopping center is huge! Yes, yeah, seriously, this screen! It's like showing, indicating this place is huge. Well, actually, it is, kind of, isn't it? Look how far down that goes. Still think they could have had a few more different... Um, what's the word? I don't know, so you can explore more. Not just have the same screen picture all the time. And I still run into Ayu every time I come here. I must be cursed. No, it's just because you keep coming to the same exact spot. Whoa, looks very nice at night, really. Having wandered the streets until sundown, I finally head for home. Oh, but I was just taking in the scenery. Mission failed. When I arrive home, I call out to Akigo-san in the kitchen to announce my presence, then go upstairs. Nariki's at her club. Mikado's out shopping. The place is silent. Excellent. I can enjoy some time to myself. Not that there's actually much I can do in my room. I don't even have a television. Still, if I had one, I'd end up wasting all my time comatose in front of it. So this isn't necessarily a minus. Or if you had internet back then, though. I mean, internet was kind of slow back then, if I recall. But in this day and age, if you had a laptop or a computer, you'd be like... On YouTube, Facebook, and stuff like that all day instead. I mean, seriously, it's the new TV YouTube is. I don't watch TV anymore. Well, not much of it, if at all. I plunk myself down on my bed. And scoop up from the floor the book I... Scoop up from the floor the book I've been reading. Say it with more emotion, dammit! A voice, distant, but angry. Come on, it should be like, you Uichi! Evidently, Makoto is back. Time to find out how she fared with the bookshop. You sound more calm than angry. This unexpected show of civility is in itself something of a warning. More warning comes from the sounds that accompany it. Feet pounding up the stairs. Feet thundering across the hallway. A loud bang. This final bang was not a knock on my door, of course. It was the door being kicked open. Yo, Makoto. Did you get anything? Hi. 
I see you know your... What's that? Conjugations. <laughs> Did he have to explain the birds and the bees as well? I guess that's proof that you're a kid. <laughs> Seriously, who came up with the whole birds and the bees story? I mean... Why birds and bees? I mean, it's just not the type of thing you'd like to explain sex about. As if it's not the sort of book a woman buys. Oh, wait, that's your line. I'm sure women don't have any problems, just girls. I guess there are women that would buy porn, I guess. I mean, gender doesn't matter. It's porn is porn. Understand this. You've been shown your place. Now get used to it. I turn my eyes back to my book. She slams my door behind her like the bad loser she is. And with that, this episode has been done. Bing. Shut up. See you in the next part.